how can you use the full backup power mode on your Gen24 Plus device? This is what we are going through today. So first of all, for your full backup system, of course, all you need is to have a Gen24 Plus hybrid inverter and the hybrid inverter will do your full backup system. Furthermore, you need to have a switchover solution and there are possibilities to realize such a switchover solution. First of all, I have brought to you the Envitec switchover box. So as you can see, this is a fixed and finished box that you can install um, next to the electrical cabinet of the household, next to the feeding point and the switchover box will now take care of the switchover process uh, between the public grid and between your um, hybrid grid. Yeah, furthermore, between this fixed box, you can do this also as an uh, electrical cabinet integrated solution. So with thin rails, it is possible to install this, uh, these components directly into your electrical cabinet. And therefore, as you see all the components that you need for your smart meter, switch over switch, and of course manual switch over is here integrated in the DIN rail and you can easily mount it directly into your electrical cabinet. Yeah, third possibility is to do it by hand. So you can do this manually by yourself. But please note that you will always have to check back with your public grid supplier and with the DNO grid which regulations are necessarily up to date and please make sure to always update your information with your local grid supplier because the regulations are changing on a continuous basis and therefore please make sure that you check back if you need to have a certificated uh, variant or a certificated solution like we have it here from Envitec or you can build it your own. Yeah, furthermore, of course, you need to have the BYD or another battery storage system like we have here. So of course, for all the battery storage uh, that you can install, you have to have a battery storage when going full backup. Yeah, furthermore, of course, for the Gen24 Plus Simo devices, please note that only the bigger Simo devices are applicable for full backup power. So in this case, for the Fonius Gen24 Plus Simo devices, only the 6, 8 and 10 kilowatt power classes are available for full backup power and the smaller devices, 3, 4 and 5 kilowatt power classes, they are not available. However, for the Fonius Primo series, so for the single phase devices, all the Primo devices are available for full backup power. So as you can see here, every uh, full backup system consists of the hybrid inverter, of the switch off, uh, switchover box and of course of the battery storage that will enable you to have enough energy whenever the public grid fails. So how does such a system look like and how can you uh, install such a system as well as what features are there available? And this I will show you in our little presentation here. As you can see here, all we need to have for this switch over solution is first of all the hybrid inverter, the PV generator and the battery storage as well as the Fonio smart meter at the feed-in point. Uh, with our so-called multi-flow technology, we have now the possibility to use all the energy flows in all directions at the same time. So first of all, you can of course use your PV generator to uh, power up your loads in the household to feed in the electric energy and of course to store the electric energy in a PV battery storage. Furthermore, you can use the energy coming from the battery storage to uh, power up your loads in the household. A very big and nice functionality of the multi-flow technology is now that you can use the so-called time of use functionality to define when your battery storage should be charged or discharged. So in this case, you have also the possibility to use the cheap energy coming from the public grid in case of flexible energy tariffs to charge your PV battery storage whenever the energy coming from the public grid is cheap. Furthermore, you have the so-called AC coupling and therefore you can always do an AC coupling with existing AC producers. So no matter if this is a PV inverter or a small hydropower plant or a small wind turbine, you can always use the AC power coming from such a source and use it for your hybrid system. So whenever you have an extra AC um, producer in the network, the Fonius uh, Gen24 Plus will recognize the AC power coming from this external device over the Fonio smart meter and with this data it can use it for charging the battery storage, for doing energy management for example with the Fonio's own pilot or Fonio's watt pilot and other energy management functionalities. 
So the beauty of this solution is that you don't need to have a data communication between an existing third party device and the Gen24 Plus inverter, but you can instantly install such a system and use the AC power coming from a third party device and use it for your hybrid system. Yeah, furthermore, when you are installing in an existing system, maybe you don't have enough space on the roof for further PV generator. So therefore you can always install such a system even without PV generator on the Gen24 Plus device. So whenever you do so, please note, especially when you're using full backup power, uh, that you install PV generator on the Gen24 Plus device. This is of course vital because during uh, blackout times, during grid, grid blackout times, you have the possibility to charge the battery system even during grid blackouts. And this is made sure when you have PV generator installed at the Phonius Gen24 Plus and therefore you can use the power coming from the PV modules to recharge your battery even during grid blackouts. Yeah, this is very important because there is one key fact that I want to show you about this AC coupling. So whenever you have your Gen24 Plus device powered by a battery system, by a PV generator and an external AC power source, please note that when the public grid fails and you are going full backup, then this external AC power source will go offline. This is due to the fact because the Gen24 Plus uh, produces a a new grid with 53 Hertz of alternated frequency and therefore all the other external producers are being offline then. This is due to the fact because the Gen24 Plus is so to say the boss in that system and controls the energy flows and makes sure that there is no overload in this system and therefore all the other external energy sources are being offline during uh, grid blackout power times. Yeah, so another question is how many Gen24 Plus devices can I use within one system? And please note, whenever you're installing a hybrid inverter, the answer here is one device. So per feed-in point, you can use one Gen24 Plus hybrid inverter to make sure that this hybrid inverter is controlling your system and balanced loads. So whenever you have, for example, an overvoltage or overpowering of the system, the Gen24 Plus will make sure that the system is being balanced during grid blackouts and therefore make sure that yeah, the power is being used within the system. So therefore only one hybrid inverter can be used per feed-in point per system. Yeah, and what happens to bigger loads within the system? So let's assume you have an electric vehicle charging station, you have an ohm pilot for generating hot water, you have maybe a heat pump in your system. So please always make sure when you are using these applications during uh, blackout time, so during full backup, that you achieve such a system only with the available power of the battery system and of the hybrid inverter. So whenever you build such a system for a customer, please make sure to check back the power that you need for the system. So for example, the power of the household, general power of the loads, power for a heat pump, power of an ohm pilot or charging station, and make sure that when these applications are being powered on the same time, that it is not a too high load for the hybrid system. So how can you avoid such, such, such a um, shutdown during the uh, full backup time. You can easily do that by installing to your full backup system, you can install so-called grid parallel loads and backup power loads. And this is really important since when you have bigger loads, for example a heat pump and an air conditioning system, you can make sure that these loads are being powered off during the full backup power times. Yeah, and with that it is made sure that yeah, there is no overload to the system and you can make sure that the most important loads like internet connection, uh, lightning of the system and so on is being online, whereas bigger loads like air conditioning system or heat pump is being offline. Yeah, and therefore please make sure to always check back the possible charging and discharging rate of the inverter, the AC output power of the inverter and correlating to that the power of the battery system to make sure that you don't have an overload and not too less power within such a system. Yeah, I hope this was informative for you and I hope you can now build your next full backup system with our Phonius Hybrid Inverter. See you the next time.